Israel Hezbollah conflict, the ultimate game of whose rocket is bigger. Beirut, Lebanon dash in a dramatic escalation that has left the world on the edge of its seat, Israel and Hezbollah have turned the skies of northern Israel and southern Lebanon into a veritable fireworks display. The latest round of hostilities has been dubbed the ultimate game of whose rocket is bigger. By bemused onlookers. The conflict reached new heights, literally, as Hezbollah launched over 100 rockets into northern Israel, with some landing near the city of Haifa cubed. It's like a twisted version of a 4th of July celebration, commented a local resident. Except instead of oohs and ahs, we have oh nos and run for cover. The rockets, which lit up the night sky, were met with a barrage of Israeli airstrikes targeting Hezbollah positions in Lebanon. We're just trying to keep up with the Joneses, said an Israeli military spokesperson. Or in this case, the Nazarless. In response, Israel has ramped up its airstrikes on Hezbollah positions in Lebanon. We're just trying to keep up with the Joneses, said an Israeli military spokesperson. Or in this case, the Nazarless. The back and forth has turned into a bizarre competition, with each side trying to outdo the other in terms of firepower and destruction. It's like watching two kids in a sandbox, except the sandbox is the Middle East and the toys are deadly weapons, quipped a political analyst. The media has had a field day with the conflict, with headlines ranging from Rocket Rumble, who will blink first. To Middle East Madness, the sequel. News anchors have struggled to keep a straight face as they report on the latest developments. News anchor, in today's top story, Israel and Hezbollah continue their game of whose rocket is bigger. Experts say it's the most explosive competition since the Great Fireworks Showdown of 2023. Late-night comedians have also jumped on the bandwagon, turning the conflict into the punchline of countless jokes. Comedian, so, Israel and Hezbollah are at it again. It's like a never-ending episode of Rocket Wars. I just hope they don't run out of ammo before they run out of jokes. Meanwhile, diplomats from around the world have been scrambling to broker a ceasefire. It's like trying to mediate a fight between two toddlers who both want the same toy, said a frustrated UN official. Except the toy is a region, and the toddlers have rockets. The diplomatic efforts have been met with mixed success. While some countries have called for immediate de-escalation, others have taken a more hands-off approach, preferring to watch the spectacle unfold from a safe distance. It's like a reality TV show, said a European diplomat. You can't look away, even though you know it's going to end badly. As the conflict rages on, both sides remain defiant. We're not backing down, declared a Hezbollah spokesperson. We've got plenty more rockets where those came from. Israel, for its part, has vowed to continue its airstrikes until Hezbollah is neutralized. We're in it for the long haul, said an Israeli official. Or at least until we run out of targets, the situation has also sparked a flurry of activity on social media, with hashtags like hashtag Rocket Rumble and hashtag Middle East Madness trending worldwide. Memes and satirical posts have flooded the internet, with users poking fun at the absurdity of the situation. It's like a bad action movie, tweeted one user. Except the explosions are real, and the stakes are much higher. Amid the satire and jokes, it's important to remember the human cost of this conflict. Civilians on both sides are caught in the crossfire, with many losing their homes and loved ones. It's easy to make jokes from a distance, said a humanitarian worker. But for the people living through this, it's a nightmare. As the ultimate game of whose rocket is bigger, Continues, the world watches with a mix of horror and fascination. Will cooler heads prevail, or will the region be plunged into further chaos? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain, this is a conflict that won't be resolved with a simple punchline.